What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's news, we're going to be talking about Activision's preferential treatment for large streamers. So, let's crack on with the news. We've known it to be a thing for some time, Activision giving preferential treatment to some large content creators and live streamers. The reason for this is because of the whitelist. The whitelist containing a lot of these content creators and streamers to protect them from being banned. But now more than ever we are seeing that preferential treatment from Activision for these streamers. During a live stream, Huskers was killed by a rage hacker. This hacker killed him, and it turns out Activision were watching Huskers stream, or somebody in touch with Activision at least, and this actually caused the person in the game to be banned. But what happened after that is well and truly shocking, like to the point where I've never seen this before, this is the first time it's happened, and I want you guys to see it firsthand. So take a look at this clip of Huskers now. What? With a sub? Wait, wait, wait. No fucking way I just died to an aimbotter. No fucking way I just died to an aimbotter. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, are you joking? Look at him! Oh my god, dude. Oh my fucking god, bro. What are the odds, man? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at that! Look at the snap! Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd you get him live banned? Oh my god. Dude. Ah, he got banned, bro. Like, at least let me spectate him for the rest of the game. I mean, bro, do I just pray for a jailbreak? Yo. Raven, I know you're watching. Raven Software. Can you please, like, spawn me back in? Dude, I knew something was up when I literally pushed him in the car, seat swapped, and he beamed me like that with a Fennec. Like, if he had an AR, I'd understand, but he literally did that with a Fennec, bro. And so I like... What? Oh my god! Stop, 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 stop. So not only did the hacker get banned, they automatically brought back Huskers. Does this mean that Activision have some sway in who can be brought back or at what point a jailbreak can happen or what time they can bring any person back in the game? What else do they have full advantage of? What else can they control mid-game? Can they control your 1v1 gunfight that should be a 50-50 and turn it into an 80-20? What else can Activision control? Or is it just preferential treatment for certain people who are on the whitelist, like Huskers? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Honestly, I think it's great that the hacker got kicked, but I think it's terrible that this guy Huskers gets this treatment and every other player out there, the millions of people who play this game, don't get that same treatment at all. 
So let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy today's news, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's news. Triple B, over and out.